Hey boys and girls, this is Wild Man Willis here, and I'm doing a review of da -da -da -da, Captain America Civil War. Well, this is the new installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and all I have to say is all the critics are telling the truth about this movie. This is one of the better superhero films I've seen in a long time. And it's well acted, well paced, a very straightforward story, no convoluted plot lines that don't go nowhere. The understanding of the characters that have been developed over the years in the movies and in the comic books as well. So that's also a good plus, and it's built up from many of the storylines that's been developed over the years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and all of the online saying that this is one of the better superhero fights the airport scene. They are not lying at all. It was clear. And crisp and clean, and you can see everything that was going on. It didn't really look CGI until at one certain point, but you can understand why. But it's one of the best looking superhero fights I've seen in a long, long time. And my highlight of the movie and what everybody else is talking about is one character in particular. And you will find out who that character is in a minute. Yes, we finally got a true amazing Spider-Man, perfectly played by Tom Holland, and his portrayal of the character is what we all have been waiting for since they put him on the screen. No disrespect for ones that done it before, but either they got the Peter Parker part right or the Spider-Man part, but not both. And it seemed like Tom Holland is in the body, both of them, because he's a kid, just like Spider-Man was in a comic book, a kid. A lot of people like the high school version of Spider-Man more so when he became the adult because that's when many of his strongest storylines was when he was still in school. And hopefully they take that forward when they make the new Spider-Man movie that comes out. The other standout is Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther. He played it on point. And of course, all of the other characters in the movie played it to a T because they're used to being them. And a lot of the people really embody the spirit of of Captain America and Iron Man and Winter Soldier and the Vision and everybody else in the cast. Give it up to the Russo brothers. They had so many characters to juggle and they gave everybody a chance to shine. But still not take away that it is a Captain America movie. That's the most important part. Even though it's Civil War, it has all the characters. It still comes down to Captain America. And that's the most important thing about this movie. And if you're expecting anything from the storylines out of the actual comic book, you get some, but not a lot of other ones because certain characters that's in the comic book is not able to be in the storyline, so don't be expecting that. That's not really a, spo a spoiler. Everybody should know that. And for those waiting around, it is two credit scenes. I won't go to what they is, so for those who want to wait around the scene, um, you have a chance to. And one thing I'm happy about is the villain actually has a purpose in this movie, and his motivations are actually clear and precise and to the point. So, 
I'm just happy all around with this movie. Civil War beat my expectations. And we'll be glad to see some of the characters that's in this movie pop up in their own movies. And this will be made up for all the bull crap and all the shortcomings and the plot points and the mixed characterizations that came along with Batman versus Superman. And hopefully Civil War will be loved by friends and critics, which it seemed like it would be, and it make the money that it should. So this is Wild Man Wolf signing off. See you next time.